Hey everyone, I'm Methods, player for Boston Breach, and welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty League's Loadout Guide brought to you by Scuff. Today I'm going to walk you through my class and sort of why I make certain decisions uh, to set up my team for success, so hope you learned something. Alright, let's kick it off with the Scuff controller. So I use the Scuff Impact, which isn't necessarily your standard PS4 controller, right? It's a little bigger. Um, it just fits uh, kind of more naturally in my hands. This is why I, I like that I kind of use it. Um, on the front I use the scuff concave stick, so the scuff sticks, concave. I remove the rumbles too, so the controller is lighter, right, because I don't really play with vibration, so the controller is lighter, so I remove the rumbles. On the back you have two paddles, I take the inner ones out and use the outer ones, so left is, uh, no, this is left. Left is jump and right is melee, so that's what feels natural to me. I have the, uh, smart triggers here in the back, this is what I aim and shoot with, and then the smart bumpers, obviously, to throw tacticals. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty standard. Alright, let's kick it off with my primary. The most important weapon I use, I use the Automaton. Obviously, I'm Boston's main AR, so pretty standard across the league. If you're a main AR, you're going to see the Automaton in, in players' hands. First attachment I use is the Slate Reflector, which is basically just a red dot sight. Pretty standard across the league. Every AR is going to be using the Slate Reflector. Next up, the G28 Compensator. So this one I've been messing around with a little bit. I went back and forth between F8 Stabilizer and the G28 Compensator. And let's talk barrels. So I use the Anastasia Sniper, which pretty much makes sure that your bullets uh, maintain damage at range. Obviously, as a main AR, I'm sitting in those, uh, sort of like those back spots, right? Back head glitches and sort of hanging out behind my team, so. Next up, we have the M1941 hand stop, which is also a staple among main ARs. It does reduce your ADS spread and your recoil, but it does sort of uh, mess with your hip fire accuracy. But as a main AR, um, I'm less focused about the hip fire and more so what's happened when I'm aiming down my sights. Time to talk grips. So I use the fabric grip, and there's a couple reasons why I use this. One is the ADS sight, so it helps you aim in quicker, but also the sprint to fire speed. So I know I'm a main AR and I'm not really sprinting as much as maybe an SMG, but it is very helpful when you get caught sprinting and you need to pull up quickly. Next up we have the Zack Skeletal, which for me is useful for the strafe, right? Like you can aim down sights and, and strafe pretty quickly. So FMJ. F FMJ is something that uh, pretty much every main also uses because we're always spraying through walls. Specifically in Vanguard, a lot of these buildings and, and doors and windows you can shoot through. So now for tight grip, uh, once again, pretty much your main AR staple. You want to make sure that your, your aim and, and your bullets are going where you want them to go. So tight grip, just make sure that your accuracy at range is, is top notch. Now for on hand, this pretty much just makes sure that you throw your tacticals quick. So your stuns and grenades are coming out of your hand quick and then you're right back to your weapon. So, all right, time to talk about the secondary. So I use the rat. A lot of people would assume that the secondary is eh, it's the secondary, but especially in Vanguard, this uh, this pistol packs a punch. So it's the perfect sidekick for your automaton. Yeah, we'll jump right in. So I use the F8 stabilizer, obviously uh, an attachment that everybody's using on their, on their rat. It's one of those things where it increases uh, your damage at range and your accuracy. So, yeah, so we also use the heavy trigger, and this is uh, pretty much standard across every pro player. It's one of the only uh, triggers that doesn't necessarily increase the rate of fire, so it keeps the gun balanced. Now for the Zac 98mm, this attachment does uh, a couple things, but for the most part I use it for the flinch resistance, right? If I'm shooting an enemy and they shoot uh, back at me, I don't want my gun sort of bobbing up. I want to make sure that it sort of stays in the same spot. Next up we have the fabric grip, which is important for that sprint to fire and uh, aim down sight speed. So obviously you want to aim in that pistol quick, and if you're sprinting with that pistol, you want to be able to get your bolts off quick, so... We also have Lengthen, which is great for bullet velocity. Uh, pretty much the only thing it does, but pretty standard across the board for people using the rat. So next we have the Proficiency, and for that we're using Fleet. What this does is make sure you can swap your weapon uh, quick, and also your movement speed is just that much better. So obviously if you have your pistol out, you want to be moving quick. And now for the kit, you got, the, uh, you got quick, and that is pretty self-explanatory, you move quicker. All right, let's get into the tacticals, the grenades, the perks, the whole nine. We're starting off with the frag grenade. So pretty standard. Everybody's using the frag. You can bounce it off walls. You can cook it for as long as you need. You can not cook it at all, right, to sort of block a doorway and, and stall enemies, stagger their pushes. So frag grenade's pretty standard across the board. Next up, we have the stun grenade. Uh, also pretty standard, right? It helps stagger pushes. You can get info with them. So for perk one, we have fortified, which essentially just helps uh, shield you from equipment and, and grenades, right? So if I'm sitting there in, uh, in a hard point and I'm trying to get some hill time for my team, and teams are throwing nades at me. Uh, Fortified helps ensure that I can stay alive for at least just a little bit longer 
um, from those grenades. So perk two is important. Perk two is radar. Essentially, when uh, an enemy fires an unsilenced weapon, it shows up on your minimap. So at the pro level, the minimap is probably the most important thing in the game, right? Just looking at your map, seeing what's open, what needs to be picked up, where people are shooting from. And if you don't have radar, you won't know. So it's essential at the pro level. So for perk three, we got some new options, right? Standard, I, I was using double time for a long time. It pretty much doubles the duration of your tactical sprint. So sprinting through barriers and sprinting around the map is a lot more fluid. Uh, but with the new game update, we now have ninja and uh, survival training. I'm still playing around with it. As of right now, I'm still running double time. All right, guys, that does it for my loadout. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, you have uh, a ton of pros to choose from, but if you know any better, you're going to use my class and you're going to tweet me if it's working for you. So I'm Methods, Boston Breach. I really hope this was helpful, and we'll see you guys on the next episode, but it won't be me.